This is WENY News. Thanks for clicking on the webcast. I'm Leanne DeRosa. Here's the latest from WENY News and the Star Gazette. New York State Police are investigating what caused a man to lose control of his motorcycle, causing him to lose his life in Corning over the weekend. Police say the man was killed while riding on I-86 near exit 46. According to an eyewitness, he sped up, lost control, and was thrown off the bike. No other vehicles were involved in the accident. State police could not confirm the man's identity overnight because they're still working to notify all family members. We're expecting a press release later this morning. And a repaving project will make your drive through Corning a little more difficult over the next couple of days. Denison Parkway will be closed today and tomorrow between Pine and Cedar Streets. Crews will be repaving the milled section of the road from 6 a.m. until 6 p.m. Westbound traffic will be detoured to Market Street and eastbound traffic to First Street. Denison Parkway will reopen as soon as the repaving is done, but drivers should expect some delays in the meantime. The family of a missing Broome County woman will announce a reward this morning for anyone who can help find her. 37-year-old Brenda Halpin has been missing from her home in Shenango Bridge for more than a month now. She's diagnosed with Huntington's disease, which can affect her ability to walk normally and may make her appear as if she's drunk. She's 5 feet tall, weighs 90 pounds, and was last seen wearing pajamas and possibly a black coat and sneakers. Brenda Halpin's family will hold a news conference at 1130 this morning to discuss the reward. And the DEC is inviting all hunters to join them for a discussion about deer management efforts. There will be two webinars this week, one Tuesday and one Thursday. The DEC will talk about New York State's deer management program, the progress they've made, and more. And you can have your questions answered at the end as well. You can connect from the comfort of your couch, or you can join DEC staff at locations around the state. We'll put more information on our website soon. And now here's Craig Flint with the forecast. Hey, Craig. Okay, thanks a lot, Leanne. Good morning, everyone. Good, uh, as we take a look at what's going on with the forecast today, good deal of sunshine is what I was trying to say in a high of 64. A little bit of a northwesterly wind at 10 miles an hour. Then overnight tonight, clear skies with a little bit of patchy fog and frost again. And lows should be in the lower 30s, even some upper 20s in some of the normally colder spots. Northern tier for you today, we've got sun and temperatures in the low and mid 60s. Same deal local, uh, locally over the southern tier, sunny skies in Bath, 62. Upper to mid to upper 60s for Corning, 64 Elmira, 64 in Owego. And as we shift the view up into the southern Finger Lakes, sunny skies, Ithaca to Watkins Glen. Temperatures here in the low and mid 60s. This moisture goes to the south of us. This is not going to be an issue. You can see that old storm system moving away, finally lifting away. And we've kind of got this little slice of clear sky here with a weak area of high pressure. It does turn a little stormy though throughout much of the center part of the country, but most of this moisture that you see here heads to the south and east of us and uh, uh, to the south of us. So uh, the bottom line, the next several days here look pretty good. 64 today, mostly sunny, 67 on Tuesday. Sunny skies, lower 70s Wednesday. I think mid-70s Thursday. Now, coming up later in the day Thursday, there's an opportunity for a shower thunderstorm. The peak of the heat, if you will, it will turn cooler Friday in the wake of a cold front. 67, lower 60s Saturday, upper 50s Sunday, and it looks a little showery as we head into the weekend, Leanne. Thanks, Craig. For the latest news, weather, and sports, be sure to watch WENY News at noon, 5 30, 6, and 11. And don't forget to pick up a copy of today's Star Gazette. I'm Leanne DeRosa. Have a great day, everyone.